In this amazing video, let's calculate the iterated integral. So they ask us to practice how to integrate double integrals. Let's see. Solution. As always, I try to mention, to mention you, remind you, that if you see all the numbers at the limits of integration, that means you can uh, switch to order of integration. So you can choose to integrate with respect to x or with respect to y first. In this case, it seems like it's symmetrically hard to do with respect to x or y. It doesn't really matter. So let's do it with respect to x. Why not? So what I see here is the integral from 0 to 6 with respect to y. That will wait. And I'll start in integrating with respect to x. Integral from 0 to 3. S square root x plus y dx. Where y is a constant because we're integrating with respect to x. To do that, I will use u substitution. Let me choose green color. Let u be x plus y. Then du will be 1 dx. y gives you 0 because y is a constant. Remember that. y, uh, I'll just write down in the pencil like so. That is a constant when you're working with respect to x. Then the integral becomes... Remember, we also switch limits of integration. Sometimes we teach you how not to do it, but in general, you actually supposed to do it. Zero becomes zero plus y, and then because again, u is x plus y, and x is the one I am changing. Three, so x was zero, x was three. Three becomes three plus y. So the new integral will be the integration with respect to y is keep waiting. And then the new integral is going to be from 0 plus y, which is y. And then 3 plus y. Then it's going to be square root of u. Let's put it as u to 1 half du. As you can see here, du becomes, uh, dx becomes perfectly du. Usually you have to divide by the constant to see if we need to adjust the constant. Now, this is integration using u substitution. We finished u substitution. Integral of u will be u, integral of u to one half will be u to the three halves, one half plus one over three halves. A bar from y to 3 plus y dy. Before we start integrating with respect to y, you have to finish plugging in your u, which is plug the top, 3 plus y, into the u, and then plug the bottom, which is u equals y. Let's kick out the constant outside of the integral. So 3 halves in the denominator becomes 2 thirds, outside of the integral from 0 to 6. Plugging the top gives you 3 plus y raised to 3 halves minus y raised to 3 halves dy. As you can see, there's no variables left in terms of x or u. So we can now integrate with respect to y. Again, we're supposed to do one more use substitution here because of this part. But to be honest, there is a shortcut how to do it faster. Should I show you the shortcut or not? There is a shortcut, shortcut we which we could use even at the first step. There's a video I have about shortcuts for you substitution, which you can watch, which is when you're working with linear functions like ax plus b raised to the power n, say dx, then instead of performing u substitution, you can do it fast. You just use power rule n plus 1 over n plus 1 and then you divide by the leading coefficient a so 1 over a dx and that is a nice uh, shortcut i teach several shortcuts for sine cosine linear functions logarithmic functions and even exponentials so let's just use this shortcut now since i already showed you how to use u substitution anyways or maybe while I was talking, you already finished the problem because you already know what to do. Two thirds integral of three plus y to the three halves 
becomes 3 plus y, 3, 3 halves plus, let me write down for you, 3 halves plus 1, which is 2 halves. That gives you 5 halves divided by 5 halves minus, let's distribute 2 thirds, this one in blue, 2 thirds, 2 thirds minus 2 thirds y, also 5 halves or 5 halves. For both cases, I need to plug 0 and 6. And I don't have to write down that it is about y because there is only one variable left. Okay, simplifying everything carefully. This should be outside. Let's not forget. So I have 2 thirds multiplied by the reciprocal of 5 halves. It's going to be 2 fifths. 3 plus 6 raised to the 5 halves, not minus 0, so be careful about that. So I will open parentheses in pink, minus 3, because I'm plugging 0, raised to the 5 halves, now closing, minus 2 thirds multiplied by 2 fifths, this one will have one of the zeros times 6 raised to the 5 halves minus 0. Again, lots of algebra, so let's calculate that. Let's see what is going to happen. 2 times 2 is 4 over 15. In parentheses, I have 9 raised to the 5 halves minus 3 raised to the 5 halves. Multiplied by that, minus 4 over 15, 6 over 5 halves. Which is approximately 37, 13. So you could actually factor out and simplify. But this is the answer. I actually see how to simplify it. Because if you remember that... Um, for example, 9 raised to the fifth power, but halves is a square root, right? So actually this will be just 3 to the 5. But does it make it easier? Not really. So I'm kind of not in the mood to keep simplifying it more. You could factor out 4 fifteens, I guess, to make it look nicer. But I'm fine with finishing the video as it is. Hopefully you too. Move on and learn more integration versus working with fractions and using calculator. So definitely have fun with integration instead.